Press Box writer Tim Richardson takes you inside the world of sports business with the Press Box Sports Business Report, sponsored by Natty Bow Gear, only at PressBoxOnline.com. Welcome back to Inside Press Box. On July 28th, M&T Bank Stadium will be full of soccer fans as Baltimore hosts a friendly match between the Tottenham Hotspurs and the Liverpool Football Club, two of the Barkley Premier League's hottest teams. Last week, we spoke with our guests about the behind-the-scenes aspects of this match. This week, we want to go more in-depth about the game itself. So let's welcome two inductees into the Maryland Soccer Hall of Fame to my right, UMBC head coach Pete Coringi in Orioles colors and <laughs> former player, local soccer legend and on the board of directors of uh, Pipeline Soccer, that's uh, Sonny Askew. Guys, first of all, did you talk and arrange this to wear Orioles and Ravens colors? We want to make sure we're color coordinated here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so Orioles, Ravens, we're all set. Hey, uh, tell, tell me why I've got two guys that are, you know, past the age of 50, let's say, to be safe why I've got them here talking about this game. Whose idea was this to get some soccer ambassadors together for this game? Well, I know uh, Sheldon Phillips, along with the Baltimore Ravens, have gotten together and really have made a concentrated effort in coming to the local soccer community and talking to both of us about trying to really get the, the crowd out to support the game. Um, it's, it's very important, the Baltimore soccer. It's very important to me, to the, to the state itself, as far as bringing people in and showcasing our facility and our town. Um, Baltimore is a great soccer town, it always has been, and uh, you know, we go back to the past, probably to the 70s when we both played um, professionally, so uh, we would like to really get the crowd to come out and to support this game. Sonny, how do you go about doing that? I know you're making an appearance like this, but are you guys heading out to bars and taverns and talking to old timers and saying, hey, come on out and support this game? Well, sure we are. When you, when you have... Uh you know, the caliber that's coming, the 28th, just to see players of this caliber and what they're, you know, capable of doing and the style and the technique. And we're talking soccer anyway. You know, it's, it's our life and, uh, um, like I said, it's in a roundabout way, we're talking about games that we've pre previously watched and so forth. So, and, and to talk this up and to be in our hometown, keep a tradition going, it's, it's, it's exciting. You mentioned the caliber of player that's in this game. Pete, you're currently coaching over at UMBC. Not that Sonny doesn't know this, but how good are these players right now that are coming into town? These are the best of the best. I mean, these guys play on their national teams. I think we take a, a talent like this for granted. You know, we, we, you can go watch a local college soccer game. You can go watch, you know, a MLS soccer game, and you're probably not going to see the level of player that comes over here for these two teams. These are two of the best teams in England, so they're going to come over really uh, their rivals. They're going to come over to play. It's, it's billed as a friendly, but I don't really think it will be a friendly. So I, I think the competition, um, they're going to go out and play. What is the difference between these guys and the next tier down? In other words, is it the skills with the ball, the ball handling? or eyesight, or is it all those things, Sonny? I'd say it, it's all them things, and plus it's a lot more fame and fortune. Whenever you put this kind of uh, uh, money to something, you have the whole world that want to be in the uh, premier division and so forth, whether it's England, Italy, uh, Spain. Uh, so you got the, the top notch from all over the world knocking in, on the door to try to be a part of this. All right. The game so is the, coming. The, Go ahead. The Go ahead. touch is much more exquisite. Passing yep. is... is, is uh, to to uh, like uh, to a T, things got to be spot on, uh, and as I said, the world's watching. Um, so when you have M numbers from all over the world knocking on your door, and and everybody knows, uh, you know who Tottenham Hotspurs are. And now this ge this game is going to be played daytime, correct? So it yes. can be viewed at night over there on ESPN two, I believe. Yes, I in think England. That's one of the reasons that they scheduled the game in the afternoon because it's going to be televised live over there at ESPN two. Um, it's a very big game for the, both those set of fans. And uh, you know, I think it's going to it really showcase Baltimore as a sports town, as a soccer town. And that's one of the reasons we really are out trying to promote the game because uh, we've got a great venue and we've had some international games here in the past and it's drawn, it, it's drawn great crowds and the players loved it, the reviews of the stadium, everything has been positive. So uh, we need to have the people come out. How do you get tickets to this game? If you go to the Ravens website, BaltimoreRavens.com, I guess. There's several different outlets, yes, yep. BaltimoreRavens.com. I mean, I'm sure 
Um, there's a lot of tickets that you know are being sold. I know the. I know they're the going. They're going. I mean, we're going to get over forty thousand for this game. Yeah. So I think you can go through the Ravens, but there's uh, several other outlets too that you can get the tickets. All right. Tell me one thing. When, when we talk about other sports, golf, like we had John Ladd on, or baseball, you're always talking about new equipment and things. Not really that much has changed in soccer, has there? That's exactly right, Stan. I it's think that's still why the ball in your shoe. I, I think uh, economically, that's why it's the world's game. Um, you know, as once told, there's, there's more members in, in FIFA than there is in the United Nations. And, I, and, and like you said, you, it requires a ball and, and, um, and not a lot of other things. Equipment, this, that, and the other. Uh, and shoes and a ball, and that's what you know, kept us all going over Patterson Park for all them years. I think the only thing that's changed is the cost of their shoes. <laughs> they used to be fifty dollars for Adidas. Now they cost like two fifty, three hundred. So the cost has went up. Well, we but like Under Armour. They're, we they're one yes. of our sponsors and, over there. So we, hey, you're doing a great job over at UMBC. I've been meaning to have you thank on you. the show. Thank you, thank you, Stan. Because uh, I'm, glad, I'm a, an alumnus from uh, UMBC a Retriever. Great job, thank Sonny. You. I know you're doing good work with Pipeline Soccer. So thank, thank you. you both Thanks for, for coming us. in. Again, the game is coming up on the 28th. Go to the Baltimore Ravens website. Up next, after the break, we'll go inside the pages of the July print edition of Press Box with cover story writer Dave LaMonico. We'll be right back. Go to MarylandGaming.net right now for all the latest news and information on local casinos, horse racing, and the Maryland Lottery. That's MarylandGaming.net, powered by Press Box. Attention Ball So Hard University alum, Ravens training camp kicks off July 27th. You can get 